stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. You might become the system's most dangerous sharpshooter. We'll put those marksmanship scores to good use. You are going to paint the system red, my friend. We'll put those marksmanship scores to good use. You could probably talk your way out of a landing ticket. This colony does love its elevators. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please power down your engines. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? 
Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All the colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Ah, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead... I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. 
All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. before you get yourself killed. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gull on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. You out of your mind? No way. Once we've dealt with these marauders, I'm hunting that sick freak down. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. You think? Most marauders can't even talk. But criminals do attract other criminals by their own nature. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo hold's workbench. Marauder. Please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health.
Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I have been programmed to communicate with diplomacy and tact. Please allow me to demonstrate. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and Captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. What can I do for you, Captain? Goodbye. I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie, from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Oh, cool your thrusters, friend. Just out here doing my trade. Gathering remains, tagging corpses, filing reports. Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. Is that an official Spacer's Choice spacecraft on an official Spacer's Choice landing pad? Do I look like an auto-mechanical sanitation unit? The answer to both questions is no. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain.
Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Beats working at the cannery. Huh? What? I wasn't dozing off. I could really go for some salt too. Huh? What? I wasn't dozing off. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. The war! The coming apocalypse! Man versus machine! I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spaces chaw, few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the Resistance a bad name. They have sent a scout, prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. 
Cross it off, then report back. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. Some sort of freelancer? You're safer inside the walls. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got to Monkey, Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what best needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? I'm Reed Thompson. Outpost Administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Shirt, pants, work boots. Company approved colors. The, uh, honorable apparel of a loyal worker? Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But 
I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. The geothermal plant was built by our owners, Spacer's Choice. Lit up the whole Vale once upon a time. Most of the Vale is now abandoned. All that power is going to waste. I'm afraid I can't spare the workers. We're strapped for bodies as it is. And there is a small element of personal danger. Marauders, bloodthirsty lunatics. I appreciate your gallantry. You deserve my... I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are... The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers, I need them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all... My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb. But I cannot deny that she is talented, and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great! I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so... I'm all set! Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Mister, can we talk? Sorry. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale.
Hey, you hear about Wilson? Unexpected. Searching for unauthorized persons.
enforce. Where are we headed?
I've always wanted to poke around in here. Look out! Oh! It's down. Um, Mr. Thompson said to talk with Miss McDevitt before doing anything here? Yeah, huh?
beginning, beginning. <laughs> Three switches. That'll be easy enough. System. Sweeping Here they come. the area. Incoming! <laughs> <laughs> 